78 laps complete. Ron Silk, Bobby Santos here on the front row. Boy, what happened to Santos there? Boy, it looks like he either spun the tires or missed a gear. Really boggled things up for a moment. And Ryan Newman in second place now as his sight set on Ronnie Silk. He to the inside there for just a moment. Now he's going to pull out a line. That has hurt him at times today, but not here. He's able to clear the leader, Ronnie Silk, to take over the lead. Ryan Priest now, the three car running third. Bobby Santos running fourth. Ryan Newman, your pole sitter, has dropped back. He's never been out of the top 10 today, but has made his way back to the front. No oh, trouble. The car's around. Looks like L.W. Miller in the nine car. Miller spin has brought out the yellow once again. Ryan Newman, Ron Silk out the front. Under 20 laps remain here. Ryan Newman, Ron Silk restarting on the front row. Ryan Priest, Bobby Santos right behind him. Ryan Newman gets a little bit of a push from Bobby Santos, shoots him out in the lead. Ron Silk able to pull up in between them in the second spot. Bobby Santos now moves to the inside of Ron Silk in that battle for second. Yeah, we haven't heard the last of Bobby Santos today. Not by a long shot. Ryan Newman, though, once he got out in front here, he seems awfully strong. Boy, Ryan Silk went real high, got up in the loose stuff, lost a couple spots. Ryan Priest is able to get by him now for the fourth spot. After leading a number of laps in the early going, we haven't talked a lot about Ted Christopher up front, but watch out. He's running in third. He's certainly lurking right now. Back in the pack, now everybody knows this is go time. Here's where you got to show all your stuff. And look at the first three cars have spread out just a little bit. The yep. draft not in effect. I would call that a comfortable lead right now for Ryan Newman. And we're only talking about two car lanes. Yeah. That's what kind of race it's been today, folks. A lot of lead changes. This one's not over, though. These guys are going to bunch back up. See Teddy Christopher now lurking in the third position. Yeah, I still think Ted Christopher could be a factor here before this is over. He's always a factor when they come here to Loudon. Ryan Newman, who as Bob Dillner told us at the beginning of the broadcast, doing it just for fun today. There's Woody Pitcat right there getting by Doug Kobe. Doug was so strong early. Now we're Eric Goodale on the 58 cars trying to get by Doug. Is that Eddie Flimke Jr. there in the 10 car? Right in front of Woody Pickett. And again, Doug Kobe, the amazing story. Put the deal together at the last minute. He's been in the top ten all day. Caught a glimpse for a moment of Justin Bonsignor. Finished second at Martinsville last time out. Great job. Indeed. Let's see if he can move up here in these final laps. Big line of cars behind Eddie Flimke Jr. Ron Bouchard. Former cup driver is the sponsor of that car, and that car actually paint scheme is a tribute to the Race Hill Farm car that Jack Beebe owned that Ron Bouchard won Talladega in. That was at that race. Boy, what a great day yeah. that was for Ron Bouchard. I believe that was 1981. I was a teenager. Back then. I was four. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Newman still out in front. Did he see now is dropped in behind Ron Silk? Back to the fourth spot, Ryan Priest fifth, and then there's a little bit of a gap back to the sixth spot. Silk with one top ten on the season. He finished eighth in the first race of the year at Thompson. Did he see you going to drive back by him into number one to get the third spot back? I don't think Teddy wants to be too far back here. We know he knows we're getting down towards the end of the race. He has to be in touch with the leaders to have a shot at it. And Ted Christopher has not run well in the last two races. He's finished outside the top 10 in both of them. So you know he wants to get his season back on track here today. Already has that one win at Stafford. Would love to make it two wins for the year. Ryan Priest now moving to the inside of Ron Silk to take over the fourth spot. It's going to 
going to get real interesting as we approach the final 10 laps of this race. It looks like it's going to be a five car shootout. Pretty big gap behind Ron Silk in fifth in our sixth place car. And what's going to be interesting, Ryan Newman has wanted to be out in front for the last 15 laps or so. As you see, the battle for sixth place between Ed Flintby and James Savali. But does he want to be out front on those final couple of laps? He's probably the guy that's passed the most cars today because he's tried to make that bottom work. He's gone back. He's driven his way back up to the front. He's gone back again as Teddy C now trying to get to that second spot in front of Bobby Santos. Bobby's not going to have anything to do with. Ooh, he is going to lose a little ground off the corner. Teddy C gets in in second. Christopher with a great move on the inside. He's running second. He's led a lot today. Bobby Santos, who's led as well, is running third. I didn't think Teddy was going to have any room to get in, and then all of a sudden, Bobby Santos just did not go off a of four, and Teddy got in there. Christopher diving on the inside here. He wants the lead, and TC's going to take it. He's going to slide up in front of Ryan Newman. Ryan's going to fight back down on the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, what a race. And it's going to give that lead to Newman at the line. He's able to drive it down and turn him one hard. Now Teddy C's going to peek to the inside again. Pulls this, back in line. This is really fun to watch. They do too much of this side by side racing that allow the that next group to catch up as Teddy drives to the inside again. Well you talked about it Phil. I'm not sure being out front is the place to be in the final laps. You know these guys are having a blast right now. We talk about Ryan Newman doing it for fun. That's what's fun right there racing for the lead. Don't count out Bobby Santos either in third place right now. And Ryan Priest hanging right in there in fourth. Ron Silk has lost a little bit of ground now in the fifth spot. And Priest doing a great job. But doesn't look like he has anything for that top three. He's going to come right down to the wire. I think Teddy likes to be in the lead. Wouldn't surprise me to see him go after Ryan Newman again. He gets in turn three so well. Teddy can drive it down in turn number three. Do the slide job, get up in front of Ryan. Not close enough this lap to do it. No, but when he catches up to him, watch out. He has used that slingshot maneuver as well as anybody here today. Let's see if he uses this corner to pull up on Ryan Newman's bumper to set him up for that dive bomb down in turn number three. And again, Ryan Newman does not have a lot of experience in these modified cars. But boy, has he adapted to it. A little bit of a bump draft right there. Could he got into the back of Ryan, it looked like. Instead of making the move to the inside, he ran up and gave him a little love tap. Lost three car links in the process. And Christopher's got a little ground to make up now. And this is what we call a comfortable lead for Ryan Newman. About two and a half laps to go now. Looks like it's going to be a two man race. Christopher and Ryan Newman. As we said earlier, TC, the all time winner at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Two to go. I wonder if Teddy's going to wait for that move down in turn number three for the last lap. Then he doesn't have to battle Ryan all the way down the next straightaway. He only has to do it halfway to get the checker flag. Well, we've seen that slingshot move work so well for him today. Now he takes a peek down low. Christopher going for the lead. He's going to do it early. They're coming down for the white flag and one lap to go. And Christopher has got the lead with one to go. White flag is out. Final lap. Ryan Newman now on the inside. Side by side down in turn number one. Is Ryan going to get him cleared? He does have him cleared. Now Teddy's fighting back on the inside. Final lap, and it's a great one. Christopher, they are dead even now as Ryan Newman pulls away a bit. But does Christopher have another slingshot move left at him? Not much time. This is the final turn right here. Down the home stretch they come, and Ryan Newman is going to win. Ted 
Christopher finishes second in a great race, Phil. It sure was. Ryan Priest was able to get that third spot from Bobby Santos, but I was really surprised that Teddy didn't make that move down in turn number three that we saw him do so many times.